popular TV show, This Is Us, recently had two characters undergo fertility treatment. Did the creators get it right? Find out on today's episode of Infertility TV. The tearjerker show, This Is Us, is tackling a sensitive topic this season, infertility. What did they get right? What did they get wrong? At the end of season two, Kate had a miscarriage and she and Toby got married. In the first episode of season three, we learn that they have not been able to get pregnant again. This is known as secondary infertility. This simply means that they have been pregnant before but are having difficulty conceiving again, as opposed to primary infertility in which couples have never been pregnant before. Secondary infertility is actually a lot more common than primary infertility. Kudos to the writers on this. Many couples are surprised to be having difficulty conceiving if they got pregnant before without any problems. It's a good idea to show that this isn't always the case. A quick visit to Kate's ob and we learn that Kate has PCOS, or polycystic ovary syndrome, which her doctor says could be linked to her weight and causing fertility problems. PCOS is a common problem that causes infertility by interfering with ovulation. Women with PCOS commonly, but not always, have acne, unwanted hair growth, or unwanted hair loss. The tests that Kate's doctor is likely referring to are blood tests to look at her hormone levels and ultrasound to look at her ovaries. Although PCOS is common in obese women, it is also common in women of normal weight. So on this point, the show got it wrong. If it seems like PCOS is more common in women with obesity, it's because doctors may be more aggressive about diagnosing it if they see a woman is obese. To be clear, obesity does not cause PCOS, and PCOS does not cause obesity. However, obesity can make the problems associated with PCOS worse. And obesity by itself does make it harder to get pregnant and increases the risk for miscarriage. So what Kate's doctor should have said is, you have PCOS and you are overweight. These two problems can combine to make it more difficult to get pregnant. For more on PCOS and weight, watch my PCOS playlist. Theo Bigani then says she would like to have Toby tested and both he and Kate look horrified. On this, the show gets it right. No fertility evaluation is complete without testing the male partner. Kate and Toby's reaction is very common. Most men, and even some women, view infertility as a woman's problem only. It's not. It's a couple's problem, and the couple needs to be evaluated together. Many men, unfortunately, are resistant to the idea and balk at the idea of getting a semen analysis. But it's just as important as the test we do on the female. In the next scene, we see Toby receiving a copy of Playpen magazine and a cup as he trudges with embarrassment off to the collection room. I like this scene because men are commonly embarrassed by having to collect a semen specimen in the doctor's office. Patients have told me that they felt like everybody was watching them. But guys, this isn't really how it happens. You are not going to be given the magazines and a cup in the middle of the office in front of everybody and have to carry them to the collection room. Those things will already be in the collection room. And once you've collected, you won't have to carry your specimen back out. There will be a pass-through for you to leave the specimen for the lab to analyze. By the way, something you may have missed, at the nurse's station, there is a pamphlet prominently displayed with the title, Healthy Nutrition for Your Fertility. Another hint about the impact of Kate's weight on fertility. For more on diet and fertility, watch this. Finally, Kate and Toby get referred to the office of Dr. Gail Jasper, a fertility specialist. Here we find out that Toby has low sperm counts and poor sperm motility. I love this scene because it points out the fact that many couples with infertility will be found to have more than one diagnosis. Like I said before, infertility is a couple's problem. But then the fertility specialist says that his depressed sperm counts may be due to the fact that he has been on antidepressants for six years. This is flat out wrong. There is no evidence that antidepressants cause low sperm counts, although some may make it harder to achieve an erection. 
Later in the episode, we see Toby dumping his medication into the toilet. I hate this scene for so many reasons. The antidepressant medications were not the cause of the problem. Even if they were, the doctor should have told him that he should not stop taking them unless instructed to do so by his prescribing doctor. Kate and Toby are seeing Dr. Jasper in order to do IVF. With IVF, we don't need very many sperm. Even couples with severely low sperm counts can achieve normal fertilization with IVF, and she should have told him that. One thing that can cause a man to have abnormal semen analysis is being overweight. Toby is also overweight, so she should have told him to try to lose weight as well. Next, Dr. Jasper tells Kate that she won't be able to take them on as a patient because of Kate's weight. Okay, first, seriously? Like you couldn't have let them know that before they trudged all the way to the office? But what she tells them is accurate. Women with a high BMI do have a lower success rate with fertility treatments, including IVF, and there is an increased risk of anesthesia complications. Retrieving the eggs is often more difficult to accomplish, so you may get less eggs and less embryos. Unfortunately, there are many IVF centers that will have a cutoff for women who are significantly overweight. Dr. Jasper says that she will be hard pressed to find any doctors who will perform IVF on her. On this, she is wrong. There are plenty of IVF centers that don't impose a weight cutoff. Finally, after arriving home from the birthday brunch, Kate and Toby decide to screw IVF. Kate gets a call from Dr. Jasper's office asking them to return to the office at five o'clock. Now, I am guessing that this is all happening on the weekend. I don't think too many people will plan a birthday brunch during the week. So come back in at 5 p.m. on the weekend? Well, take it from me, IVF doctors are caring and dedicated professionals. As Dr. Jasper says, I got into this to make the impossible possible. So it looks like Kate and Toby are going to do IVF and that infertility is going to continue to be a story arc this season. So don't miss any episodes of This Is Us and don't miss any episodes of Infertility TV. I will continue to give you in-depth analysis of the medical facts behind the story. Did you like this video? Remember to like this video. Have a question? Leave it in the comments below. We'll answer. Subscribe for new episodes of Infertility TV. They're out weekly. Click the link in the description to visit our website where you can register to become a patient.